Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and on this one, I'm going to show you how you can create really cool, realistic, great sounding bass lines to your songs, to your productions, without a real bass. I've been asked many times that how I create drums and bass lines, bass for my songs on my videos here in YouTube and in general when I write songs and record them. Well, I use real bass. I, I play bass. I have a really cool sound sample preamp there. I, I use plugins. But I'm gonna show you how you can create great bass lines without having a bass or even knowing how to play bass. And I do that sometimes too, because at the moment I can't play, because I cut my finger cooking food. Shaze happens sometimes. We've been writing the next Syra album with Jake and the other guys. We actually did a video which we just posted to Jake's channel about the subject, how we write remotely. So link probably there and in the description. Check, check that out if you're interested, because that's also one of the questions I've been asked many times. So the video is on Jake's channel. And here we have another new song. For drums, I use Tune Tracks Superior Drummer 3. Here's the mixer, here's the my what I've done. But let's not focus on that. I've done a separate video also on that plugging link there. And the song, the part sounds like this. As you can see here, I have played a real bass and, and used a few plugins for that sound. I'm gonna show you how you can create, like I said, bass lines to your production songs without having a bass. The secret is Tune Drag's Easy Bass. The basic version comes with a modern, which has this kind of active bass. Vintage, which is a kind of P bass vintage sounding, and then they just released a new heavy metal pack, which I'm gonna use now. And from there, the overdrive with peak setting. What I have here is a simple Alice Q25 MIDI control and <laughs> it sounds like a real bass. I mean, all the little frets rattle, and if I play so softly, if I hit hard, I can bend it. So this is one way to do. This is really cheap MIDI, just a MIDI keyboard controller. Let's go here and let's mute the original bass, and I'm gonna play the bass with the MIDI keyboard. I didn't record that now because it's screen recording. So that's one way to do that. And then it writes the MIDI and then you can edit it later. But let's say you don't have a MIDI controller. What can you do then? This is really cool also for that. Absolutely fantastic. So here's convert audio to MIDI. And here is a generate accompany, accompanying, accompanying bass MIDI. So I could drag drum MIDI, keyboard MIDI, you know. So let's use this drum part here. And I will drag it here. And now it just suggests me different styles where I can choose. Will it follow just a kick, kick and snare, or add some popping or 
will it fo follow the power hand? In this case, it's the hi hat. So let's check out how these different options sound. And now it's only like one note. So what I'm now looking for is the correct rhythm. Then I will alter the notes to correct notes. Let's listen. I like this one. So it kind of it follows the kick but it also accents the the snare snare drum hits. So let's use this. Okay? Then here in the beginning and then I'm going to drag this here. Okay? Now now we have it there. Then I'm going to go to grid editor. And yes, you can download audio here also. So I could download this DI signal that I've played to here also and then it converts it to MIDI and then I can edit that but grid editor okay so now here is the bass line as you can see it's one note it's a C note what we're gonna do is what's funny because the first chord of the riff is actually C but it's let's put it here Let's listen with the guitars. D D D. That's a uh, I think it's there. Let's listen. Yeah. Okay. Then again, this one, I want it to be octave lower. Here. Then it's there. Let's listen. Okay, that that goes a little bit earlier. That wasn't actually bad, so it changed it to octave higher, and then we can move this to here, and then that was here. So, like that, let's listen now the whole thing. Here I wanted to go back to the low C, and then it's... That sounds right. And here. Okay, now let's listen to the whole thing.
So, I mean, it's amazing because <laughs> I can hear the, the strings rattle and the frets buzzing a little bit when it hits really hard. And it locks really well together with the drummer because, <laughs> you know, and then you can edit this. There's all kinds of different uh, picking styles, ghost notes, harmonic, per percussive, uh, this you can add slides, bends, whatever. You know, the only limit is probably your or my own imagination. This is really awesome. And it also comes with a bunch of different grooves. Let's say if you have a you know, boogie song. Oh, it actually changed, changed the no note, so it's pretty much you know, standard boogie. And then there's peak rock. Let's say, let's take, let's take this one. That's that was Lenny. <laughs> and then you can do the same, drag it to here, then edit, because this was just the one note, but it's the the groove. And then you can edit the notes yourself to, to fit the song structure, the guitar. And you can also drag guitar audio here and then it will create a matching bass line based on that guitar audio. It works best if you have a DI guitar signal. I have here, I real I recorded the guitars with real amps, so it's it's the bad boy, my Marshall 800 from 1984, and this is the, the Zag Wildhead. It's, it's up there, you can see it. But you can create bass lines they sound like a real bass player. I mean, guitar is my, you know, the instrument. But I, I've, I played bass on, on many albums and stuff. And I can <laughs> tell you that this is, I mean, let's, let's compare this bass line to my original bass line, what I, what I did. I'm just gonna mute everything else. So first, the easy bass. Then my the bass I played myself. And don't watch this; it's it's going there in the background. But it's it's this bass anyway. Technology, oh man. If you don't have a bass or you're not able to play your bass like me at the moment, or you don't know how to play bass, you don't know anything. I mean, you don't have to know anything about theory. We all have ears. We can, you know, you can try out how, how does the line sound when I put it here, when I put it there. You don't have to know the notes. In theory, it could be the wrong note. But if it sounds good to you, then it's good. So this is really amazing. I'm not gonna go into more detail because I literally got this just a few days ago. But in my experience, this is really self-explanatory, really easy to use, and it works like a charm. Links in the de description below to two drugs website where you can check this out. They have a metal month now. I think many of the products are discount at the moment. So check those out. Strong, strong recommendation. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and informative. If you liked, you know, thumbs up, please subscribe. You know the drill. Until next time, take care. Bye.